Senior Airman Michael Malarcy of Los Lunas was worried about his future after a bomb went off in Afghanistan and left him blind. But today, he is still on active duty in the Air Force, and he continues to do things that people don't expect. His latest quest, scuba diving. And Bob Martin reports a unique foundation is making that dream come true. Over the first stage. Before you go underwater, you have to learn about the equipment and the science of diving. It's just a finger tight. It's a lot to absorb for anyone, much less someone who must rely on senses other than vision. The bomb blast that took Michael Malarcy's eyesight also took the lives of several friends. For Malarcy, there were months of painful recovery, soul searching, revelation. After everything that had happened, I had, I had told myself, Everything that I've ever wanted to do, every opportunity that I had passed up because I was too busy, I had too many things going on, I'm going to do it. Uh, scuba diving is, is one of them. Michael is already blazing other new trails. Instead of discharging him, the Air Force made him administrator of a program that pairs airmen who've recovered from critical injuries with the seriously wounded fresh from the battlefield. Michael and other mentors know the territory like no one else. For me, when I, w I wake up and realize I'm going to be totally blind, every goal, every dream, everything is, is totally gone. Like, you know, what do I do now? You know, to have somebody there who has experienced those same feelings and has the, the credibility that nobody else can, can bring and really you know, give these guys a, a support system that otherwise they wouldn't have. Anxious to push boundaries, Malarcy is helping test a synthetic vision system. A micro camera on glasses creates a pattern on a plate of electrodes. The plate rests on his tongue. Michael can sense individual shapes like letters. And it's cool to be able to, to read again. Now the waist strap should be around your waist. Shouldn't Scuba diving is just one more challenge. A lot of people are like, well, you're blind, who cares? But the, the feeling of being under the water and knowing where I am and what's going on, it really is. It's, it's a really exciting thing. Michael's training is provided by the nonprofit Dive Pirates Foundation. Specially trained instructors at scuba centers across the country volunteer to teach wounded veterans to overcome disabilities and enjoy scuba. We're all trained to, to do that, and it's just we're going diving. Whether you're in a chair, whether you have an artificial limb, you're blind, let's go diving. Diving requires the ability to quickly deal with emergencies like the loss of your air supply. Hours are spent in the pool practicing with a dive buddy, in Michael's case, using mostly hand signals. I know what I'm supposed to do, and as long as I keep a cool head, it, everything's going to be perfectly fine. All of the skills that Michael is learning here in the pool will be put to the test in the real world, in the ocean. For their graduation, and thanks to sponsor donations, Dive Pirates Foundation will take Michael and other wounded veterans to the Caribbean. Each year, Dive Pirates brings a new group on a unique journey of discovery. We're going to find whatever we can for Michael to play with, with his hands. We're going to be doing um, racks, whatever he can touch that's going to be safe. And there is a special place where some friendly grouper hang out. And these groupers will come over to you and lay on their sides because they want you to pet them, actually pet them. But what we're going to do is we're going to have Michael pet and feel the grouper. It's going to be fun. For Michael, scuba is part of getting back to normal. The quest for normalcy is a path that in his regular job, Malarcy helps newly wounded airmen navigate. Your old normal, you may not be able to reach that normal again. You can reach a new normal. Life does go on. But you can still contribute to society. You can still accomplish things. And even people that have no disabilities at all, you can come up with tons of excuses to not do things. And I'm not going to let being blind stop me. There's a lot of life to live out there, and I'm not going to miss my chance. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13. The Dive Pirates Foundation can always use more donations to support the Wounded Veterans Scuba Program. There are links to that foundation and to Michael's blog at krqe.com. What a cool story. A couple of heroes in the news yeah. tonight. That little yeah. guy up at Hamilton yep. and yep. Michael Malarcy. Too. Yeah, very good. Proud cool to be New stories. Mexicans. Yep. Thanks, guys.